Hello, this is Deborah Yow with Black Education TV. And I'm going to be discussing the drug problem here in America. It is very obvious that there is a drug problem. Compared to other countries, it is off the charts here. But how you look and who you are depends on how you are treated as a person who abuses drugs or uses drugs. If you are one way, you get treated this particular way. If you're another way, you get treated that particular way. And I'm going to make these comparisons for you so that you can see. And I won't even mention race or skin color. But it should be very obvious just with what I say to you in this video, what is going on here in this country. Now, there is a website called Heroin Angels. I'm just going to explain to you a bit about what this website is about, okay? And one thing I also noticed, there, there's not a website that's called Meth Angels, but that is a premium domain name that is being offered for sale. So apparently someone owns that name, Meth Angels, but this site that I'm going to be dealing with is called Heroin Angels. Now, out of curiosity, I decided to do a search, a domain name search for Crack Angels. No one owns that name. No one is trying to buy that name. It is open on the free market for whoever wants to buy it. But someone owns Meth Angels and someone owns HeroinAngels.com. And that is an active site. But the Meth Angels is up for sale. Premium amount for a couple thousand dollars. Now let me get into what I'm trying to say here. Like I said, I don't even have to identify any particular racial group here. I'm just going to read and say what I have to say. And you can draw your own conclusion. Now, the site Heroin Angels is, this is what they say on their site. They said it's devoted to raising awareness and to the ending of the opiate overdose crisis. We care greatly for both those we've lost, as well as those left behind. This section of the website will give you a first-hand look at what heroin does to us. By the time you leave Heroin Angels, you will be able to identify heroin, identify the signs of heroin use, recognize overdose, and firsthand what and what not to do in an emergency situation. And they have a, an array of educational videos of showing different people's stories of um, opiates and heroin or whatever. And people just sharing their stories about what's going on, how people have, how they look when they're under the influence of it and and then there's a link that says memorialize your angel now that link is for you to submit a story of your heroin angel okay and this is what it says it says have you lost a loved one or friend to heroin addiction would you like to see them memorialized on our wall the basic listing is absolutely free, so why not? If you like a bit more, try our deluxe listing for more features such as unlimited length for their bio and the option of adding up to 20 photos. The deluxe listing also shown is random order, is various places across the site. Please make your selection. Now, uh, listen people, this is no laughing matter, okay? I'm just trying to make a point here. This site, Heroin Angels, is meant for you to share your story about your heroin use or your family members, those who've, who you've lost. But what I'm having an issue here is the fact that they're called Heroin Angels. Now, people do all kinds of things when they're on drugs. They do all kinds of things. And the reason why I mentioned there's no site, no, no one owns the name CrackAngels.com, but you have someone who owns Meth Angels and Heroin Angels. 
You see, when you use particular drugs and you fall under a particular category in society, um, your deeds are considered angelic. But if you are a crack user, we've seen how crack users have been demonized and how they have just been made, they've, they've been really made the target of the drug war. Crack users have been the target of the drug war, the so-called war on drugs. You see, and marijuana. But heroin, oh, they're angels. Crack users are portrayed as demons. So you see the mind manipulation that's going on here. What this says is that if you use heroin as a drug or methamphetamines as a drug, you're an angel. You just fell on hard times and you were confused. And oh, we're supposed to have all of the sympathy for you. And that we're supposed to just have these bleeding hearts, right? But if you're a crackhead, you get what you deserve. That is my manipulation to the 100th degree. Because it shows that you're supposed to have sympathy for this group of people who use these particular kinds of drugs. But this group of people, they're supposed to be arrested, demonized, shot, killed, whatever. That is what happens in this country. The stage was set for the crack users to even get their hands on crack in the first place. The stage was set back in the 80s. It was almost as if a crack bomb exploded in the rural, I'm sorry, in the urban areas of this country. As if some type of crack bomb exploded. Now, these people didn't have the wherewithal to make or funnel these drugs into their own community, so they got there somehow. And then after they got there and people fell for it and started using it and dying from it, they were demonized to the 100th degree. But if you just so happen to get your hands on meth or heroin, oh, you're an angel. Oh, my goodness. They lost their lives. Loss of life is sad. But where are the tears for the crack users? Where is the website for the crack users? My thing is this. I don't care what drug you're using, heroin, meth, crack, you are not an angel. You are a drug abuser, a drug user. And many times people who use any of these drugs do things to hurt other people too. And so for these people to consider these heroin users as angels or meth users as angels, but demonize a whole other group of people for using crack, there again is the highlighting of hypocrisy in this country. There's a mindset that goes along with this. And so far, I don't think I've mentioned any racial group. Correct me if I'm wrong. If any of you heard me say anything about any particular racial group in this video, point it out to me. Point out the, the minute marker. Because I was making a conscious effort not to mention any racial group but the scenarios. And this proves, if anyone knows what the racial groups are, and I'm not mentioning them, this proves that these people in this country know what's going on, what they're doing, and who their targets are. So this is a heroin and meth versus crack cocaine. Heroin and meth users are called angels. Crack users are called drug dealers, drug users, drug abusers, criminals. You see, why not be fair all across the board? Is fairness something that you have in you? And I'm asking, is fairness something that you have in you? I'm not identifying any particular race, but who am I talking to? Can you be fair ever? How did crack cocaine get into certain communities? How did it get there? Who are the main users? Huh? Who are the main users of heroin and meth that they deserve to be called angels? But the crack users are called everything but a child of 
God, as you all call him. I think my point's been made. So if you're one kind of drug user, you deserve love and sympathy and emotion and embracing and support. But if you're another kind of drug user or abuser, you deserve detest, anger, arrest. That's what you deserve. You don't deserve any type of compassion whatsoever if you use this particular type of drug. But if you use this one over here, you are labeled an angel. Okay, I'm out.